here at the Salute to Women Behind the Wheel at the Mid-America Truck Show. And we're with Idella Hansen. And Idella, you won the prize today, 46 years. 46 years out on the road. How, first of all, congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Second thing is, how in the world have you been able to do this for 46 years? Um, I'm pickled in diesel fumes. Okay. I love it. I love it. It's right. a challenge every day, and I still love it. And I'm good at it. I'm good at it. Now, who, are, who are you with currently? Um, I have my own company. I am trucking, and uh, I am leased to a lady by the name of Sarah Biggers, Biggers Trucking. Okay. And uh, we work together. We're best friends. And uh, I'm her safety director also. Gotcha. Now, 46 years ago, there were maybe, what, four or five women in the entire industry? I mean, <laughs> it seems like that. I know, there wasn't I know very what the many of us. I know no. the national average is about 6%. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there wasn't very many of us, and there wasn't any facilities to accommodate women truck drivers back then either. So tell me a little bit about that, and how far, I mean, how far has it come? Oh, it, it's 180 degrees now. Uh, it was not unusual to go into a truck stop, and back then even the men's showers weren't private. They were in a locker room, locker room situation. And once in a while you could convince them to put a sign on the door and say, woman in the showers. Or you would find somebody to stand in front of the door and say, protect you, so you could, but yeah. it was still scary. Some of the truck stop had motel rooms, okay. sleeping rooms, and they would give us a key to the motel room. But most of the time, you just did the best you could. Mm -hmm. You just did the best you could. 46 years, we're talking millions of miles. Oh, yes. About that. Several millions of miles? Well, it's, it's starting to show. It's starting <laughs> I don't to think show. so. Oh, yeah. Now, I, I, I tell everybody, I'll, when I tell them when I'm going to get there, so I'm, it'll be, I'll be the gray-haired old lady in the purple truck. Now, do you, you obviously know that you're a trailblazer. You've probably known that for close to 40 plus years. Yes, sir. Uh, do you feel a, 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 a sense of responsibility? Absolutely. Tell, tell I, feel, I feel an obligation to the, to the younger women coming in, and I do mentor. I encourage them to call me with their problems and, and, and give advice as best as I can. And if I don't have the answer, uh, fortunately through Women in Trucking and OIDA and uh, the different organizations, I have the resources to point them to, towards, the right, towards the right answers. Talk to me a little bit about if you had a chance to walk up and to newer drivers, and I'm sure you do this, and you know, newer women drivers, newer driver, drivers in general, what would you tell them, and specifically what would you tell women drivers who are coming into this industry or who are in this first you know, year or so, which I know for anybody is very difficult, and I'm sure it's uh, still probably uh, fairly challenging if you're it's, a woman. It, it's the same thing that you would do in any job, and, and, and you have to have pride in what you do, honesty, and give them, give them their, their money's worth. Uh, if you say you're going to keep your work, you've got to be a person of your word, and uh, you got to give them all. You, you got to give it all. You just you. Uh, I, I'm not sure what I'm looking to say, but you. you Did you get your bag yet? But it, loyalty, honesty, cleanliness, you know, yeah. and, and most of all, be yourself. But you got to be. You got to give the man his money. What is that the key to success? What's the key to success for you? Being honest. Being honest to a fault. Well, how many more years are you looking at? Just as long as I can get it. Just as long. I don't intend on retiring. In fact, if it comes to the point where I can't do that, I'm going to turn my truck into a motorhome. Yeah. It sounds like you still enjoy it. I mean, do you enjoy it today as much as you did? Absolutely. Or, or maybe more? I enjoy it even more. Even more. Uh, the industry has changed. You know, we have time restrictions. We have problems out on the road. You know, we have dangers that we didn't have before. But with the influx and the introduction of social media, the camaraderie and the helpfulness of everybody is starting to come back together in a different form. But it's coming back to the old time when you saw a truck stopped on, broke down on the side of the road, you stopped and helped. Well, now people have time crunches. They have all sorts of things that keep them from doing it. But through the social media, we are bringing it back around in a different form. How important is women in trucking as an organization? It, it, they go to DC for us. They go to the companies, and, and, and it's extremely important. It, it, when I joined Women in Trucking six years ago, 
I have, it, it was the, the stepping stone to all my other contacts in the business. So, so you obviously been very pleased with the growth of the organization, the steps of it. And it sounds like from uh, you know, being at today's meeting that today's salute, that things, the momentum's picking up, that things are happening. Yeah, and, 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 and it's like a, a, a domino effect because this, the Women in Trucking is doing so well, it's stepping on to other organizations, uh, sister organizations, you know, uh, it's like a domino. Thank, thank you. you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Years. Appreciate it. Thank you.